Hey everybody, it's me, Carolee, and we're about to add a little bit of adventure to our cozy in this adorable new game called Hamster on Rails, which just dropped into the eShop today, October 26th, at the price of $15 US. Now I saw that it also went live in Steam today, so if you're a Steam player, you can get it there too. Uh, didn't see the price point there, I'm assuming it's the same. We are gonna check out this little game. It looks so cute. I've been super excited about it ever since I saw it coming soon. Let's jump in and see what we've got here. Hello, my king. You called for me? Yes, as you are our best explorer, I need you to perform a very important task. A situation is critical. Our ore stocks are running low, and as you know, without them, our village won't survive. I need you to go on a journey to search for new sources of ore for us. Please go talk to our chief engineer for more information, okay? So we're playing as a little hamster. I will do it immediately. It will be an honor to perform this task for my king and our village. Thank you and good luck. And don't forget, the entire village is depending on you. No pressure. <laughs> Thank you, my king. And don't worry, I won't disappoint you. All right, where are we going? We gotta find the chief engineer. Oh, okay, it's taking us there. Look at our little waddle, so cute. Hello, chief engineer. The king asked me to talk to you about my journey. Yes, we have everything prepared for your trip, but first I want to give you some details. So we're, we're most likely going to have some tutorial to get through here, which is good. We're going to learn how to play. To build the path to the minecart is your main task on this journey. Using the rails and parts that we will provide you in each area. In all areas, you will necessarily have to collect the ore, as this is the mission that the king asked you for. So that's, uh, we're going to be looking for the ore. We'll have certain things to, so this is a little bit of a puzzle game. So there's going to be some puzzle elements to this. We're going to have to use our noggins. <laughs> to continue your journey, take the key to unlock the gate, okay? Yes, I understand, but what will my itinerary be? Your journey will take you through four regions. Forest, Desert, Aztec, and Medieval. Ooh, that sounds fun. In each region, you will encounter different challenges, but don't worry. I will provide you with specific tools to get through each one of them. Any questions? I don't think so. Let's just try it. <laughs> no, everything is fine. I'm ready for my journey. Ah, almost forgot. You'll have some help on this journey. Say hi to the player. That's me! <laughs> Hi, friend. It's great to have you with me. You'll be a great add to the team. Wonderful. Then get on the minecart and have a good trip. Okay, so I see a little minecart in front of us. Thank you, Chief Engineer. Rest assured we will fulfill this mission. See you upon our return. Alright. A little waddle on up to the, <laughs> to the minecart. And we're going to jump in. I think we end up spending, from what I saw, we'll, we'll be in this minecart quite a bit. Oh boy, we're going through the dark. Okay, so here we go. <laughs> Hi friend, do you want me to explain how things work around here? Yes, please. We want to know what we're doing. To begin, we'll explain how the menu works, which you can access by using press down on L. Okay. Pressing plus, you will access the pause menu options. Okay. Select sound to turn game sounds on and off. Well, we want to leave those on. Select back to restart the area without losing your progress. Okay, that is definitely good to know. To restart, select that one to remove all the pieces. Okay. To start moving, select play when the path is ready. Okay, so it sounds like we get to lay our path first, and then 
Let's see, we got a mine and then an exit. To check available area for assembly, press Y to activate build mode. Okay, so it's gonna show us where we're allowed to put track. And then what we have available is here in the top right corner. We have 11 straight pieces and four curved pieces available to us in this level. So we have to be able to pick up the key, the ore, and make it to the exit. Do we pick up that mushroom? I don't know. <laughs> So are we starting out in the forest? This looks almost jungle-like. To move the camera, use R. Oh, okay, that'll be helpful, maybe. Very good, any questions? Okay, I don't think we have any more questions. On the highlighted area, add a track. Okay, so this is the first level, so it's show kind of showing us where to do it. We press Y, that puts us in build mode. So we're going to, um, let's see, how do we, how do we choose which track we're using? Wait, what happened? Oh no. Okay, I think I think that was instructional. All right, let's try this now. Um, so I want to put a piece here. Okay, there we go. Um, so there's the straight piece. That's the piece that we want. We'll put that down. I pressed Y again. All right, so this is showing us, whoops. This is showing us the path. It's giving us an idea of what we need to do. So how, uh-oh. Okay, so pressing the R and L turns the piece so we can put it a different direction, but we definitely wanna keep that one straight. Now on this piece, we want the curve, so how do we choose the curve? Okay, we use the D-pad to choose the curved piece, and we can... Uh-oh. Uh <laughs> we're, we're learning the controls, okay. So we can turn that to fit, but right now it seems like it's pretty much... Um, adjusting itself to the right uh, orientation. But again, this is the tutorial one. I don't think we're going to get this much help uh, going forward. <laughs> so we'll put... Oops. All right. Yep, these controls are going to take a second. <laughs> so I'm using the left joystick to move where I'm putting the track and then I use the D-pad to choose which piece of track that I'm trying to put down. Uh, there we go. Okay. So now... <laughs> I think we, we go to the play button. There we go. So pressing down L, the L joystick, pressing down on it, takes us back to this little menu here and we can hit the play button to ride our little rail that we just made. So we got the ore, we got the key, and now we're headed out the exit. Okay, so we're in another level. Oh, we've got some little inclines this time, two little inclines. And it looks like there's a bridge we have to cross, maybe? Okay, we wanna start out with a curve here. There we go. And we need a couple of straight pieces. Okay, I think I see where we're going to need the incline. We're going to need that incline to get up on the bridge. Alright, so... Uh, yeah, okay, and it, it does turn the piece red if we can't use it in a certain spot. Like, see, we moved up and the incline turned red, so we can't use an incline there. We have to choose a piece that goes to green, so we know that we can use that there. All right, so we're gonna want another incline there. So it is still kind of showing us where we need to put the pieces. 
So uh, maybe we're still in tutorial mode here. It's, it's giving us an idea of the kind of paths we're going to need to make. Um, okay, let's try straighten. And we can change the view so we can see this from the top down. We can see it from pretty much any angle. That's as far down as it goes, but we can look up. We have lots of view options. So let's finish building our little track here. And our last piece is one little piece of curved track left. So let's press down and hit that play button. Collect the ore, collect the key, and we get our first treasure chest. Which opens up <laughs> a new little face for us. And, oh, we have a new little, we can be black and white now. <laughs> okay, and we can turn the little guy around to see what he looks like. All right, we're going to use the new ones because we have them. So we do uh, earn new ones as we go. So we get to change our look. Um, I'm assuming there's going to be about one treasure chest per level. So there should be lots of fun things we can change. <laughs> about our look as we go. All right, headed to another level. Hi, traveler. I can't work in the mine because I left my pickaxe on the island. Can you help me? Okay. We definitely can. So we've got to get the pickaxe. Yes, my friend. Of course, I'll bring it to you. You can count on me. Alright, so we have quite a few. We have a new piece again. Um, it looks like maybe something to stop us? That's interesting. And the exit is right to our left. So we've got to somehow get... Okay, so this shows all the squares. When we press Y, it shows us all the squares that we're allowed to use with the piece that we currently have chosen. Like if I switch, if I use the D-pad to switch to the corner piece, then it does change. Like it's, see the, P, the little star in front of the guy that's waiting turned red. So we can't use a corner piece in front of him. So if we change it to the incline, there were several more pieces that turned red. So we won't be able to use those there. And the little stop, I'm interested to see how that works. Okay, but we, we definitely want to start out with a straight piece in front of us. So let's lay that down. And then we have to keep our eye on how many pieces we still have available. Alright, we're going to go this way first. We want to go to the right because we need to pick up that pickaxe. Oops. <laughs> Um, we need to pick up the pickaxe before we get to the other little hamster. So let's put in some little corners here. We need some straight pieces. And then we're going to need an incline to get up this hill. Which... Hmm, it doesn't seem to want to let us put one there. But we can put this there. Interesting. Okay, so are we going to have to do this in two? So this might be where the that uh, rewind button comes in handy. I think it said that it puts us back without losing our progress. So let's try, all right, let's try playing this. We'll go get the pickaxe. The path has ended, but we haven't yet reached our goal. We need to reassess what we've done here. <laughs> okay, well that wasn't correct. <laughs> 
Um, so we can go into Y. I think we can... How do we pick up a piece? Let's see. Left, right, rotate. Yeah, okay. There we go. We just had to press Y again. And we can pick up what we've done. Hmm. Okay. We're gonna have to think about this for a second. If we go to the left... That's not going to leave us away. To get back to the exit. This is kind of like a maze. <laughs> we have to figure out the best route. Now I don't understand why it's not letting me put an incline there. We can put one here. Will we be able to change out the pieces as we're riding? Let's just try one more thing. Let's just try this every direction here. No, it doesn't want us to go there, but we do have to grab that pickaxe. So we put the little stop block there and he just said that the trail ends. It, will it let us put, we can't put a corner here either. Interesting. Can we put this piece there? So the only piece that it's letting us put right there is the stop block. Oh. Now it's green. So can we put an incline? Oh, we can put an incline on top of that. So, okay, so that little piece is not a stop block. It's, it's like a build up. Okay, so I think we've got this now. Let's um, put in our path. And we're starting to get used to which controls do what. Um, starting, I said. As soon as I said that, I clicked the wrong thing. <laughs> okay, so we want to put the curve there. All right, so now... We've got to get up here, get the key, get the ore, and get back down. So let's see. Let's see. I think if we go this way, I hope we're going to have enough pieces to do <laughs> what I'm thinking. Um, we need another corner here and another corner there. Straighten this out. We'll turn up here. Take our friend, his pickaxe. Turn back around. Ooh, I hope we're gonna have enough pieces. We've only got like one more corner. Okay, so this goes here and then we need to put the height here and then add the incline above and below. We have one corner left and three pieces of straight and that is perfect. Okay, so we finally got it figured out. <laughs> Finally got it figured out. We're learning here. This will go a little faster as we as we get further into it. Hopefully. I don't know. Uh, it's, it's definitely a puzzle. Okay. So then we just click down on the left and send our little hamster on his way. He's going to grab that pickaxe. He's going to pick up the ore for the village. He's going to give this little dude his pickaxe back. And there's not a chest on this level, so I guess we won't be finding one on every level. Hi friend, here's your pickaxe. I hope I helped you. Thank you so much. You helped me a lot. Have a safe trip. Nice. We've got another key. And I guess that key is what unlocks the exit door. So that we can move on to the next level. Okay, there's a chest on this level. Alright, we don't have any new pieces. 
to work with, but look how high up our exit is. We're definitely going to be building uh, some height over there. Okay, so I think we want to start out by heading this way. We're going to go pick up this ore. Oops. <laughs> See, I keep hitting the wrong button still. Alright, we're using the D-pad to switch between the pieces. And that's what I keep forgetting. Um, so this is our first spot where we're going to potentially need some height. No, okay. The incline by itself is enough to get us up this one. So we need another corner here. Okay, and I, f I forgot that we can move, we can move the view. So is that gonna work? That Does that look like it goes high enough? It doesn't, does it? All right, let's take this piece. Wait, we can't, oh yeah, there we go. Um, let's put one of these in and then the incline, which means we need an incline there. Okay, there we go. Now we can get across the bridge and let's take a look here because we don't have to use all of the spaces and I don't see any reason that we would need to like use this space here because we should just be able to go up whoops and around back to the street pieces we just need to get and I'm gonna kind of work backwards here from the end <laughs> as well to make sure that we have enough pieces that way it's not looking good here we definitely want to get that chest though okay let's see here do we need the height here and it looks like we do so put a height there and a height there and I think that's going to use three of our inclines to get oh no nope. we need another height here can we stack two of those yes we can um, which means we're going to need one more there and then the incline and then another incline so that's all of our inclines so now we have two corners left and three straight pieces so I think we've got this let's put our corners on there we go we've got a track are we getting everything we're getting our key we're getting our ore and we're getting the chest okay so clicking the left and hitting play <laughs> Here we go! What what are we gonna find in the chest this time? This has some really cute little graphics. Alright, we've unlocked a new face, a little wink. And a new skin. Plain white. Uh. <laughs> Alright, we'll try out the plain white since it's new. It's not my favorite so far, but we'll we'll give it a try. Oh no, did I not save it? Oh no, I didn't save it. Okay, well, <laughs> we'll give it a try next time, maybe. Okay, and I just noticed that there was like a little speed up button. Hello, traveler. I threw my boomerang while hunting and now it's too far away. Okay, we don't have any new pieces. It's on your way. Could you bring it to me, please? Hello, friend. You can count on me. I will do whatever is possible to help you. Okay, so we definitely didn't hit the check mark coming out of the chest on the last level, which is why none of our stuff ended up changing. Okay, so let's go into build mode. 
And on this little menu to the right, where the little hamster is at the bottom, that little square next to it, when we were riding the track before, it looked like you could put it on two times the speed. But we're doing okay so far. All right, so we have to somehow <laughs> get that boomerang. And I don't see a bridge or anything. Um, we have to get the ore, get the boomerang, and then get up to the exit. Okay, I kind of see how this is going to work. So we're going to grab a corner here and head over... Sometimes I feel like this is going to be better working from the end backwards. Um, or maybe some combination. Alright, let's try a corner here. We'll head straight up. Um, so far I don't see any, any reason to kind of use up these oops I meant to put a corner there these extra spaces that show up there's not like anything hidden there all right we're gonna need two corners here another straight oh whoops <laughs> I was moving the, uh, I was turning the piece instead of moving. Okay, we have an incline here. Is the incline going to get us up or do we need something under it? Well, let's just put it there and see. Okay, yeah, it's going to need something under it. Whoops. And we can easily change that by just going back to the space, choosing the piece that we want, which means there needs to be an incline there. And it just replaces the one uh, that it's taking out. So we need another straight. Corner. Come grab this boomerang. And get back out of here. Oh, wait. <laughs> we can't put a straight piece there. We need an incline. Uh, and it looks like we're going to need a built-up incline. Which means we need two inclines there. And then uh, we'll go straight across the little log bridge here. Oh, whoops. Okay, we're going to put... A build up there with an incline on top, another incline below. I think one straight. Hmm. Do we need another straight piece or is that gonna have to go straight into another incline? <gasps> no, we're out of inclines. We're out of inclines already. We can't get up there. Okay. Interesting. All right, see, this is why sometimes, <laughs> sometimes it helps to start at the end and work your way back. So we definitely have to have these pieces. Whoops. Oh, there we go. Let's get a corner there because we have to come this way. It's the end. We, we don't have an option. And we can't... We can only use the spaces that have the little marks on them. So... We're definitely gonna have to figure something out here because... That's our last straight piece. Okay. Hmm. Alright, we can 
reclaim these inner lines. Let's just reclaim all of them for now. Because we're... We're gonna have to use one to get up this hill. We're gonna have to actually use two to get up this hill. Okay, and we're out of straight pieces now too. Okay, so this is where the puzzle's coming in, guys. So I think, let's take out all of this. And I have another idea. I'm gonna leave that piece because we are gonna need that. All right, so over here, if we put in an incline here, does that need a thing under it? I can't tell. I think it does. Okay, whoops. So then onto this piece. <laughs> this is gonna be tricky. This is going to be tricky. Okay, so what I'm thinking is that we need to, whoops, come down here. Wait a minute, that's not gonna work. How can we get down, like make a little circle there? Do we save any pieces? If we take this out, do we save any pieces here? Okay, this will save us, I think. One, two, three. I don't know if this is actually gonna save us pieces or not. <laughs> All right, we'll try it. Um, let's, oops. Let's do this instead there. I don't think that actually saved us any pieces. Let's see. <laughs> How can we get up here? We do have to go by that boomerang. And we have to have enough pieces to get through this last section. There's like no option here. This part has to be that. Okay, so it's coming down. Maybe we don't need to go across the bridge here? But we've got our incline now. There's, oh, this is tricky. This is very tricky. Okay, let's see here. Take those pieces out for a second. Go back to build mode. We don't have enough straight pieces to get all the way down here and over the bridge. But we... <laughs> oh dear, this is... Um... Let's put this incline in, which then has to be an incline there, but that gives us a straight piece back, so that's good. Now we have to figure out how we can get can we, can we adjust the pieces while we're in transit? 
or is it like one and done? Because if we can adjust like this piece, then we can have them come up, turn the corner, go over, grab the thing, come back, and then we can turn this piece and have them go straight up. But I don't know, <laughs> I don't know if it's going to let us do that. And we only have two more inclines, so we definitely 100% sure cannot go across that bridge and up this incline. All right. Let's look at this. This is probably super obvious and I'm just not seeing it. We do have to get up to there. Alright, let's um, let's try putting a curved piece here and an incline there. The problem is then, even if we go down and turn around, it's just going to take us back down the track that we've already made. another incline there. I know this is giving us like the exact right pieces that we need to figure this out. of what I was thinking but he can't go it's just gonna stop him there isn't it oh man and we can't we can't put pieces anywhere else except the bridge all right I want to run this just to see what happens <laughs> all right see there's the little two times speed button all right, so he picks up the key, he goes up, he grabs the boomerang, and nope, he just stops. The path has ended, but we haven't reached our goal. We need to reassess what we've done here. Yeah, we do. <laughs> oh my goodness. Do we need to start all over? Okay. We definitely have to get the ore. We definitely have to go by the key. And we definitely need that boomerang. And we 100% have to get up this hill. Okay, what if we try this? Let's take out all of this. Oops. Can we... Get an incline that goes that high. If we put two, it would have to be three there to get that high enough. And then we don't have enough to get us up to it another way. Wow, this is really tricky. It's probably super obvious. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, well, if you like puzzles, this is definitely the game for you. Okay, so we're going to take this option. Uh, we're going to restart here. Okay, so that takes us back without picking up the track that we've already laid down. I want to... I want to take us back 
I'll start over. You want to restart the level, you will lose all your progress. Okay. Yeah, let's, let's try this thing again. Okay, this is where we can build. We need a place to turn around. We have to get this ore. And it uses the same... Oh, you know what? It doesn't use the same amount of straight pieces. Or does it? Oh my gosh. You guys. <laughs> Seriously. Alright, let's just... Let's try it out here. This way... It's using three straight pieces. But if we take out this piece, and this piece, and this piece, we could just put three curves in here and not use any straight pieces right there. Okay, let's do that. Because <laughs> it's given us a lot of curved pieces and our straight pieces ran out quick. So let's work our way back from the end because we have to go on this part. There's no option there. At least to this far. See, I wish we could build a bridge or something. Okay, let's see here. So we've got the ore. <laughs> oh boy. I'm really feeling not very smart right now. <laughs> Take this this way. Hey. This way. There's no way to do that without going over that bridge, is there? I mean, there is, but we have to. We only have six inclines. And every time, like this incline isn't tall enough to get up there. So we have to add a piece under it, which means that we have to use two inclines on each side of the bridge. And we only have six. Wow, this is... Let's see. We can, we can do a turnaround, but we can't get back down a one-lane road. You guys, if level three is this hard... <laughs> oh, level five. If level five is this hard, we might be in trouble. It's probably not even that hard. I'm probably missing something super obvious. All right, let's think about this. I guess the best thing to do is just keep laying down pieces and see if see if something becomes obvious. Let's 
save some straight pieces if we do that. We have to have straight ones across here. And we have to have a curve there. Alright, that meets up. But then there has to be another incline there. Wow, this is tricky. In order to use this bridge, it would use up the rest of our inclines. Can he even go on that? Like one incline straight into another? And if we put it like that, there's no way to get up to it. So I don't I don't think that's the answer. We're gonna take those inclines back. But I also don't see how we get the how we get this boomerang. Let's see here. Let's see if we can get over to that side at least. See we're using up our corners now fast too because I tried to use a bunch of corners to avoid using the straight pieces. And I think that might have messed us up now we're about out of corners. At least it has some nice relaxing music. <laughs> okay, so this part here, does this need a lift? Whoops. Can we put an incline straight here? That needs a lift. See, that's the problem. Like, every single piece needs a lift. And every time you use a lift, you have to use two inclined pieces. Alright, that puts us out of corners. We can go across to here. Put an incline. But then, like, we can't get back out. Wow, you guys, this is really, this is really testing me. I'm gonna feel really dumb when I figure out how to do it. I think we're gonna have to reclaim some of these corners. Well, let's test this. <laughs> what happens if the guy doesn't get his boomerang? Because we can definitely get out of here without getting the boomerang. So let's, whoops, not what I meant to do. Let's just try this. Alright, there. We've got a path to the end. We can get the ore, we can get the key. We just can't get the boomerang. So, sorry little dude. We're just gonna find out what happens if we don't do that. <laughs> do we get an F on this level? may have to revisit it at some point unless it's not gonna let us go through without the boomerang but we did have the key so we can get through the gate is he gonna say something to us wow buddy I'm sorry I couldn't catch your boomerang traveler what a pity I can't go without hunting could you try to catch it again okay so basically 
Let's see. We have the choice to go back. What if we say no? Okay, so it's going to let us go on. <laughs> it's going to let us go on. And I think I saw in the menu that we can choose the levels. So we can choose to revisit that level at some point and try to try again to get the boomerang. All right, here's what we're working with here. It's adding a lot of levels. Maybe there's something that I'm not seeing about the inclines. But it sure does look uh, like we have to use that boost every time and then it takes two inclines. I wonder if he can just go sailing off the end and just <laughs> catch an incline down. Let's see, because again, this one, let's just check it. The incline is not tall enough by itself. And I don't think it's going to let him... Like, let's try putting that there. And we'll put the straight pieces just for testing purposes. Uh, let's see if he goes down. Nope, he stops at the end. So we do have to have it connected. Retry. Okay. So I've, I feel like I do a little better if I start from the end. And work my way backwards. But maybe not. <laughs> it didn't help us in the last one. Okay, so this, the incline's not tall enough. We have to add a boost. Which means there has to be a double incline there. Which we're down to... We're down to only three more inclines now. Oh no, we have four. We have another one over there. So is everything else on the same level? It looks like it is. I think we'll be able to do this one. Man, I don't know why that last one was so hard. <laughs> I think we can... Uh... Oh, no, 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 no. We're going to need two inclines. I don't understand. Can we move them as we travel? We might have to try that. Let's go up here. Uh, we need to take out that piece. Put in the boost and the incline and another incline. Uh, then we need a corner. Whoops. We're gonna go straight past here. Wow, we're running out of pieces fast. If we go straight here, <laughs> you guys, this is so much harder than it looks. What are we missing? We're missing like a whole section over here, but there's nothing in it. There's nothing in that section. Except that we could go down that way. But if we do that, then we miss the chest. I think we definitely want to go the way that we're going. But we might have to adjust some things. Alright, so let's put... Oops, that there. We'll get an incline and an incline. A corner. Alright, we'll pick this up. And then we'll pick this up. Oops. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. Okay, back to build mode. Down there, if we go straight here, curve there, oops, and straight there, and 
then back up here, we have two curves and two straight pieces left. Which should get us where we need to go. Okay, that gets us everything, right? It looks like it does. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, that one was a little easier than the last one. There wasn't an extra thing like the boomerang that we had to try to get. Okay, let's send him through. We get a chest this time, so we get something new. Customize our little guy with a new face. Yeah, that, that face about sums it up right now. <laughs> Okay, and what else do we get? Another... Okay, we like that. And then we just have to make sure to hit that check mark so that we get... Keep it. Cute. Very cute. And then X out of there. Okay, so he's gonna keep going. He's gonna pick up the ore. He's gonna pick up the key. And we're out of here. If there's any secret things hidden in here, we did not get them. <laughs> But we used every single piece of track there. Okay, so we have made it to level seven. So many mushrooms to harvest and today my shovel fell down the hill. Can you help me? All right, so we have a shovel, but guys, we are gonna end there for today. We will pick up on level seven in the next episode. We are gonna keep playing this game. It's, it's fun, I think. You can let me know. <laughs> Feel free to leave me a comment if you saw a solution to level 5 that I was not seeing. Um, I would love to know what you think of the game if you're playing it yourself. I would love it if you click the like button or if you subscribe so you can find out how we do in level 7 next time. We'll see you then. Thanks so much for joining me today everybody. Have a beautiful day.